There we go. Okay. Okay. Man, that took forever. Oh my god, that took nearly 2200 attempts on an insane demon. But, yeah, okay. That's first victory for sure. No one else uploaded this level, so I'm assuming no one else has beaten it. Oh gosh, this level is very close to being, like, perfect. Because this the base gameplay in this level is so much fun. Especially once you, like, learn it. Like, it takes forever to learn. But it's super fun once you're actually consistent at it. The problem is that there are certain massive consistency walls in the level that are mainly due to poor playtesting. I mean, there really aren't any in like the first half. There's like one click that's kind of a choke point in the uh, dual ball, or I guess just in chamber one as well as chamber two. Like they only have like one hard click each and the transition in between them is fine. But once you start to get to the second half, that's where it starts to get kind of ridiculous. I mean, the part right, the Q part right after the wave ball duel, uh, right after number two, is so terrible. There are invisible hitboxes that don't even come close to lining up with the ones that are actually there, and it just... It's terrible. I ended up, I, I ended up finding the, the skip I took this day, to where you could just go on the ground and survive, because normally you'd have to hit the yellow orb and then the green orb, and then either jump off the block or hit two blue orbs in the second sphere of orbs. But the yellow orb, well, firstly, there was, the transition's not consistent. Like, there needs to be a teleporter there, 100%. And sometimes you wouldn't even be able to not buffer the yellow orb because you would die to a spike that the decoration moves away from. And if you buffer the yellow orb there, you die to the ground, which I thought was extremely unfair. And then even then, there's a chance you die to an invisible spike that's really close to the green orb. If you don't buffer it, if you click it too late, it's such a finicky timing and it's so annoying and I'm... I'm glad I found a skip around it because it was a giant consistency wall. And then the transition into the spider is not good either because you can click too early and the spider misses the the pad and you just go down, which is fair. But you can also click too late and then the cube uh, dies to the purple block after it moves to the side, which is very unfair. I mean, I get it, you know, being able to click too early, whatever. I mean, but sometimes the transition spits you out in a way where you can only click too late, which is just not fair at all. And in the spider, there's like one other click at like 56 where you die to a, a block that hasn't even fully moved into place yet. So it looks like you're dying to an invisible spike because the layout wasn't actually moved where the blocks were, but the, it was actually just the blocks moving into place. I didn't realize that until my most recent practice run. And the rest of the spider uh, cube duel is fine, mostly. And then you have the the UFO ball duel, which was absolute torture to get down. Because I still don't know how those green blocks behave. I don't know what the triggers are. I don't know what movement mechanic it uses. It doesn't make sense. Because sometimes they just move in weird ways. Like, sometimes... I would get squished as the ball immediately in the uh, at the first green block that I came across. And there were other times where at like 81, the green block is supposed to stop the UFO from landing on the spikes, and it just wasn't there. And it confused the shit out of me. And even then, the transition into into the ball UFO duel, I didn't the when I was playing this last night, I was hitting the green orb early so that I would land on the block because my mind was like, okay. I land on the block before the transition, it'll be consistent. But it consistently lined you up in a way that made it exceptionally hard to survive. And I didn't think about clicking the green orb later and avoiding the block until today, where that was consistent. But it's such an unintuitive thing to do that it's like, why couldn't you just make the other transition consistent if you do land on the block? Why can't they both be consistent? And even then, I died so many times at that ball UFO duel good amount of them were my fault although I will complain about the 
the glitchy side to side effect making a spike at like the, you know the same part with the green block that doesn't save your ufo sometimes at like 81 it makes the spike on the one platform you land on as the ball invisible i mean it stays in the same place it's there before that uh glitchy effect but the glitchy effect makes it invisible i thought i was dying to just terrible hitbox i just thought i was terrible dying to terrible level design but it turns out the that that spike was there the whole time and it was just invisible at the one time where I need to actually look at it, which was kind of BS. It's really just like tiny BS, like super exceptionally finicky stuff that really just makes it so that this isn't like a 10 out of 10 level. Because if it was just a polished a bit more, I would have had an insane. Uh, I would have had so much fun with this. But like in its current state, I don't even know if I'd recommend it, even though. Most of the gameplay was really fun when I got consistent at it. It's just, mm, it's troubling that there wasn't really much polish put into the gameplay. I did reach out to Shrimpo about an update for this. I haven't gotten a response. I hope I get a response. I hope this video catches attention. Even my Discord messages don't. Because this level has so much potential. It has potential to be one of my favorite insane demons. But it kind of falls flat at the moment. Still really good, still absolutely deserves a rate, even without a gameplay update, but I think that there's a bit of missed potential here. But yeah, GG.